Welcome back, YouTubers. This is going to be a review of the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise figure, Snapdragon. One of the old horror con figures. Anyway, let's get started. So, here's the box. Shows off the character. Inside... Another big chunk of the star map, which is the feature of the boxes this time around. It's got a planet on it, too. Diosphera. Not sure. But, yeah, got another chunk of the map there. Anyway, let's get to the figure. Now, this one was part of the final episodes of the original G1 series in a three-part story called Headmasters, and he is one. He's also a triple changer. So, as you can see, he's in his dragon-like mode here, but you pop off his guns, take out this figure, which forms his mouth and his head in various modes. Tuck in his arms, pop in this, and that's the trickiest part of this. You also have to make sure this part, there's some grooves here that line up here, so make sure they slide into place and lock. Anyway, but you clip back this part, And you peg in the tab here, flip down the claw there, and you have his spaceship mode. Now you can attach his blaster cannons to his wings here. The wings are a little tricky to get in the right position because they're very easy to move, so you might have I've seen some things where they're folded up like this, but that doesn't look that good. Just gotta properly balance them. And it forms this pretty cool looking space fighter. Now, you can pop open these two panels here. And stick him in as the pilot. Which is really nice. And in case anyone is wondering, yes, this thing is compatible with other Headmaster figures. Here's Chrome Dome's Headmaster. As you can see, they're the same size, though you won't be able to use him for the mouth part. He will fit inside, so you can swap heads around with these characters as well. Anyway, now for robot mode. His robot transformation is pretty simple. You simply take this whole plate on the back side. You have to turn these two pieces up. These two slot into little grooves on the side here. Which keeps it in place. Fold up those and pop out the foot plates. And there you have his robot mode. You put his head on. Just like any other 
Headmaster slash Titan Master. Though I just prefer to call these things Headmasters because that's what they do. Or you can swap them with someone else. i.e. Chrome Dome here. And yeah, that's Snapdragon for you. Now, he never had a huge role, unfortunately, in the television series or the comics, mainly because, unfortunately, it came at the tail end and his figure was just one of many Headmasters, Target Masters, and other Transformers that were all released at the same time. Kind of difficult to do much for a single bot in only three episodes, when there's so many others you're trying to promote for the toy line. And I'm afraid he didn't get much love in the Japanese series either. He was just one of the many tr Decepticons, ironically not even part of the Headmaster trio that was brought in with Black Zarak, I mean sorry, just Zarak, i.e. Scorponok. Keep remembering what he was in God Masters. <laughs> but he wasn't really that important. He was just another henchman, really. He didn't have much of a role. He and his fer fellow horror con Ape Face, who could also turn to a jet and a giant gorilla monster, were basically just thugs. But all in all, he's a cool figure, and while he didn't have much... Uh, screen time, he's still a really cool figure, and I recommend hunting him and his fellow Horicon Ape Face down if you can find him. It's a little tricky now. He's pretty easy, Ape Face not so much. Though I do have one held for me, I'm just waiting for some other stuff so I save on shipping. But you'll get to see him at some point soon. But anyway, please like, subscribe, comment below, share this video with your friends, and which helps me expand my subscriber base. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao!